Okay, good morning everybody. We have arrived to Clear Lake. You know, this is only the second time I've fished Clear Lake this time of year in the winter, but I'll just be honest, been seeing some tournament results lately, some reports, and there's been some monster bags coming out of here. 30 plus pound bags, double digit fish being caught. That said, I've also heard reports that it's been tough too. Some skunks out here, people without a bite all day. So, you know, it makes sense. It's of course winter time. It's not like a place where you can go anywhere on the lake right now, throw any bait you want and just catch fish. I think fish are probably very specific to whether it's location, depth, bait presentation. But if you can find it, obviously you can get right in a hurry. So that's the idea we are going to be here for the next two days got an airbnb tonight so figured we'd make the most of this trip and hopefully get on some fish but just pulled up to clear lake outdoors gonna head in there get our muscle stickers maybe tease out a little bit of a fishing report and pick up some last minute tackle that's the game plan let's head in Good morning Good how you doing man doing great First customer in today. First customer in today, seven o'clock, right when I open. How many people have you seen the past week? Um, actually not as many as I was expecting. Oh, really? Yeah, um, there's about 30 bucks for the ABA, so that was good. Fishing has been phenomenal if you know what you're doing on Clear Lake in wintertime. Trash fish up north, underspin A rig, regular swim bait down south. If you grind rocks down south and yeah. you keep on moving, you'll find the school of a lifetime. Really? Um, that I found good? A couple schools, one in Rattlesnake and one in Redbud. Um, 500 bass at least. No kidding. Yeah. Some days they're there and sometimes they're not. But when I scan with that live scope and I'm like, oh my God, that's the most bass I've ever seen. There's like, there, I'm like, there's no way that can be all bass. It's got to be carp or something. And then yeah. I catch, you know, five, four to six pounders and 10 casts. And you're like, yeah. those are all bass. That's crazy. Yeah. Man, this you is know, way six, better than a report than I expected. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate it, man. Six, six to 50, six to 15. A rigs, yeah. swim baits. Yeah. Might as well. What do you right. got here? Any baits that I should definitely have with me? Um, Wintertime cranking, we always gotta do that tactical DD. That was one that was designed for out here. And they got some new colors too. Any big swim baits that I should be throwing just in case? I'll just do a trash fish. Trash fish? Yeah. Whatever you think. <laughs> show, you, show you what they're buying Come on, guys. He's telling me all the goods right now. Yeah. I'm listening. What um what size hook do you use with that? The four inch we're gonna use probably a three or four aught, and then the six inch we're gonna use a six aught or an eight aught. How about the other ones? Are they, are nope. they too big? Nope. Too big. Okay, too big? Six inch. All right, and a muscle sticker, please. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'll probably try Bredos today. Just fish all that main lake stuff. And then if, right. if it's not like epic, then I'll probably go to, uh, I think it's down by Frazier. There's like a launch there. Yeah, Born Vega. Yeah. I'll be your receipt for that one. I'll get you another receipt for your tassel. Cool. All right, thanks, sir. Thanks so much, Greg. Yep, I'll see you probably later. Yeah. All right, let it. We'll get started. I appreciate the uh, report from Dave from Clear Lake Outdoors. That's like a good report too. You know, he's not giving you GPS waypoints. He's just telling you kind of what they're on, what they're doing. You know, you don't want someone to give you coordinates, of course, but giving you a little step ahead is always nice. But I do think it's gonna be a little bit of work to find some fish. We're gonna have to try some different areas and you know you can't go in expecting to catch a million fish right off the bat it is still winter i think when we launched the boat it was 29 degrees it's cold hopefully we can find that mother load of fish that would be fun
we go. Oh, shoot. I thought I got bit. Must have bounced off of something. I felt like I just got thumped. That really felt like a bite. That might have been the fish right there, too. Come prepared. Got lots of baits. I don't know about you guys, but I am definitely someone who likes to be as organized as possible. Usually what you don't see on camera is the night before in the garage, spending anywhere from an hour to, I think yesterday was about three and a half hours in the garage, just rigging up rods, getting baits ready, packing extras just in case I got on a certain bite and needed more for tomorrow. That's always best case scenario, but you know, all those uh, baits we tied on were based on some reports, the conditions, the time of year, the place we're fishing. Just hope that one of them will work. Definitely found some fish. I just don't know if those are bass. I'm kind of thinking not. Kind of long and skinny. Might be carp or catfish. The only thing is, if they were catfish, you'd think they'd eat. Clear like catfish like to eat bass baits. Well, I'm not gonna even mess with it. Alrighty, folks. 11:37. Clear Lake without a bite. <laughs> yeah. I'm not too surprised. Again, like I mentioned, with all the good reports that I've been getting and hearing about, I think there's been just as many tough ones. And it's exactly what I think is probably going on. You gotta check a lot of spots to hopefully run across the right one that I think if we can find a spot with a fish, get a bite, there's potential for there to be a lot more fish there. So I'm gonna keep going, cycling through the baits, the areas, the depths, the retrieves. I mean, I got all day today, probably fish up until dark, until we find something. Just kinda hope it happens sooner rather than later. But let's keep going. Oh, 
just don't get it. Like, there's definitely fish here. I found a few spots with fish. Just cannot get them to bite. It's so frustrating. Oh, my goodness. Such high hopes for Clear Lake, especially after having a couple of miserable trips last year, mainly the summer and the fall. With water coming up. I know it's still winter, but ugh. Thought our luck would change for sure. We'd be able to get on some fish. This must be like crappie or something. I'm thinking they're like crappie. They are relatively small marks. Alrighty, folks. 140 making a move one of those situations where i kept getting further and further away from the launch and just wasn't happening wasn't feeling the uh, positive vibe so we're gonna head back we're gonna hit a few points a few areas that we didn't get to fish before there's actually a few boats on them earlier uh, i don't see many now so i think we'll be able to slide in but man still in search mode i don't know i've grabbed some fish i'm not sure if they were bass or crappie or something like that but whatever they were i couldn't get them to bite yeah we probably got about two three hours left Whew. It's not looking so hot, but it is warming up. The sun is out, clouds have kind of cleared. So maybe these fish will start to get a little bit more active. We can only hope. I'm starting to run out of ideas and uh, we might have to start from scratch tomorrow, but still a little bit of time left. We'll see. Five fifty. Cheers. I'm not sure what we're cheersing. A skunk? Guys, um, what can I say? I've got a lot to learn. I'll be the first to admit that. We came up here, we had a game plan, we did some research, we had some good reports, we had some bad reports too. We had some intel, a little bit of a hint going into today. And even with all those factors, I did not get a single bite. I may have had one bite, I'm not sure. We'll just say zero bites and definitely zero fish. Pretty discouraging, discouraging day. I'm gonna use this, hopefully, as a learning opportunity. I mean, again, second time I've been to Clear Lake this time of year in the winter, I'm clearly doing something wrong. I'm gonna have to think about it tonight. Formula a new game plan for tomorrow and this is hopefully where the learning comes into play really think about what I did today what I was doing wrong or maybe something I missed and try some new stuff tomorrow but yeah that was a tough one for you guys who are wondering because I do get this message every so often this Airbnb I will link in the description probably my favorite Airbnb of all Airbnbs on Clear Lake it's in a nice quiet area plenty of parking which of course when we have other fellas here that works out well it's actually right on the water and the last time we were here, there was no water back there, but now there is. So if you wanted to, you could go fish off the back of the patio. But yeah, awesome Airbnb, guys. Check it out if you guys make a trip up to Clear Lake. I know it's getting booked up pretty fast because Clear Lake, I mean, today wasn't a good example, but Clear Lake, this spring, this summer, with these water levels so high, going up into the bushes, the trees, the willows, it should be pretty good this spring and summer. But tonight, I'll meet up with a couple of the local fellas here. You guys probably have seen them on the channel before. Grab some dinner, maybe see if they know something I don't. Part ways, I'll come back here sort my gear and get ready for another day of fishing tomorrow that's the game plan that was today's recap a sad one but it happens good news is we've got tomorrow yellow you didn't hear that what was that oh his beer's opening yeah. I, I got a beer with me right now it's probably your best friend it's definitely my best friend right now because just sitting on a couch, thinking about what I'm gonna do tomorrow. Did you fish today? No, I didn't fish. What I did was I launched a kayak and I kayaked around Clear Lake and I casted baits. That's With all. No I... bite. 
You got it. That's the clear lake I remember in the winter. Where'd you fish? Bredos? Bredos. I fished to Shag. Then I went to Anderson, Dollar. Went down to two of those rocky points, fished Fraser. Then I crossed over and fished Windflower. Then I went and fished Seabreeze. And then I went back to Anderson. And then I went to the spot where there's like the mansion. Then I gave up after almost 10 hours. Know where you gotta go, dude? Where? The north side of Rousey Garage. Okay. I don't know. I Part of me is thinking today may have been like the turning point and it just got stupid tough again. It could be. It is only like, what, February 3rd or whatever? Hold on, Juan's calling me. He's probably coming in right now. Hang on, let me let Juan in. Are you here? Yeah, come yeah. on in. Come on in. I think I am. I'm not sure exactly where I'm at yet. Doors open, I'll let you in. Just come on in, man. You there? Michael? Yes. I'm sad. I had um, good intel. You know, not GPS. There he is. What's up, man? Mr. Clear Lake. Come on Mike, in. Mike, on the phone? This is Mike. Hey, Mike. How's it going? Hi, Juan. How are you? Long time no talking. Yeah, it's been a little bit. Nice to see you. I thought you died, but you're not dead. That's good news. <laughs> I'm live. <laughs> I'm just telling Mike how I skunked. Oh, yeah. yeah. From what I heard, it was pretty tough today for a lot of people until after like 4.15, 4.20. Uh, the wind picked up a little bit and it got a little bit better. Well, Mike's telling me to go, Mike, you're telling me to go to Rattlesnake? I say Henderson or Rattlesnake. Yeah, I would say Rattlesnake too. There was a lot of boats out there today. There was Rattlesnake's a lot. Rattlesnake's always good in the winter. Well, not necessarily good, but... I don't know. Hopefully tomorrow's better. Dude, at the end of the day, you're soaked. You're on the water fishing. I haven't fished since. Who knows when? Yeah, Mike, tell the people, when are you coming back to fish? Uh, I will be back in the bass scene shortly. <laughs> it will be at Oroville. Orville? Okay. Yep, I'll be there. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you make your comeback. Oh, it's gonna be fun. Anyways, Mikey, I'll let you know how tomorrow goes. Hopefully, hey, I don't um, have a double skunk. You gotta be more positive than that. I'm trying. I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to be a better angler. Be a better person. Be positive, right? <laughs> be a better Dream person. about good vibes, happy clouds, and rainbow sherbet. All right, rainbow sherbet in my dreams tonight. Go <laughs> on, take care. Great, good luck. I hope you don't skunk. Don't pull a Dutcher tomorrow. <laughs> you too, Mike. Talk to you later. 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 Yeah. Tough, dude. That sucks. Yeah. I so. think whichever one's open later. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully that's how it's going to go. Yeah. Bad. Guess he yeah. just walked in. Oh, Dutch just came in. <laughs> yeah. He's got a big cocky smile on his face. He's happy I skunked. <laughs> Made my day. Man is day by day. You gonna do the same thing you did today or you gonna try something totally different? Oh, totally different. Oh, I'm still throwing Carolina rig and when you catch that Gordita, nah, give me a little hole inside. Dude, yeah, give me a big deal. Just call me DB and say hello. Say Just, yeah. Yeah, I'll give you a holler if I catch a fish, even if it's like a crappie. <laughs> there we go. All right, give me a call. Me call. <laughs> All right, man. All right, brother. I'll get back with you. Right, bye. <laughs> is that what, what you were thinking about heading up tomorrow? Uh, oh, he's gonna come, but his uh, truck had the tires were goofed up. Uh, come on over, Dutch. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're uh, happy. Why are you happy? Really, it really makes me upset that you had a rough day. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it does. <laughs> How was your day? I was just grinding asphalt. I would have traded places with you. No, I don't think you would have. I'd rather skunk than. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather be out there floating around doing nothing than sitting on the back of a grinder. Think about this, though. Think about it. If you were given a choice, your work, or the other option was you're gonna go out in a kayak in a lake with zero fish and you're forced to make cast after cast after uh, cast. Yeah. Would you actually take that? Or would you go to work and can make drink, money? Can you drink beer at the same time? Sure. Oh yeah, I'm doing that. Nah, I'd probably go to, rather go to work. That's why the saying, bad day of fishing is better than a good day at work. That's why that saying's not true. That's why I'm saying I've had some days where I've been out on the lake going, what in the <laughs> hell am I doing out here? <laughs> Yeah. No, honestly, it was fun. It was actually nice. It was a nice day. It was a beautiful day. I don't think it helped the bite, but it was nice. You didn't even get bit or... I may have had one bite, maybe. I can't even say for sure. That's how I was at Comanche a couple weeks ago. We did have a full moon last night. I yeah. saw that on my way up. Yeah. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, so that's probably what also is kind of killing that bite. Anyways, I don't know. Another day tomorrow. Where are we going? Gaslight? Probably. What's your favorite place? Not terribly expensive and it's good. <laughs> Best combination. Yep. Yeah. Let's go.
Alright, here we go. Made some changes as we said this morning. We'll probably continue to make changes. But new location today, that's the big thing. New location and mindset. New location, new mindset. This is actually the only place <laughs> that we will fish today that we fished yesterday because it was the one place that I marked a ton of fish. I mean, I think most of them were probably crappie, but there had to be some bass in there somewhere. And it just gives me confidence that it's a place that can hold fish. Or maybe they moved up overnight. Who knows? I will say this, good days, bad days, it is always such a great feeling to be out here on Clear Lake. One of the best bass fisheries in the world, in history. You just never know what a day can bring. So you're gonna keep those positive vibes. PMA, and enjoy the day no matter what. Yo, what's up, man? Doing any good? Uh, I've only been out for about an hour and a half, but nothing yet. I'm at uh, Monitor right now, fishing those offshore islands. All right. Um, yeah, call me back if you find anything. I'm I'm up here searching right now in Lake Port. I'm hitting all the main spots, but uh, I haven't caught anything yet either. I haven't even got a bite yet. Yeah. Well, I'll keep you updated. All right, man. I'll good, talk to you in a little bit. Good luck. Later. Offshore islands, offshore rock piles right now. Dragging a tiny little swim bait, casting it in 25, 30, reeling it up to about 15, 10. How could you not get bit if there's a fish here? There might not be a fish here though. That's my worry, my concern right now is, I don't know, but we just had a full moon. So I wonder if that goofed up the fish and they just all pulled off or just buried themselves in the rocks. I don't know. Again, just like yesterday, other than maybe a spot or two, not much on the graph, hardly anything. Man, a little bit of wind picked up and cold now. Freezing. Gonna put the jacket on. Take a crappie or a bluegill. Don't even care. Alrighty, folks. 
two o'clock and dude, I don't even know what to say at this point. Had a glimmer of hope today that maybe we could learn from yesterday, try a new area, try the different baits. I don't know, I, I've said it all at this point, but uh, nothing. And it's two o'clock and I don't want to sound like I'm giving up, but I'm giving up. Uh, now I got a three hour drive home. I got to pack all my stuff up and there's no sign of anything for me to go off of and try to grind some fish. Super disappointing, two days here at Clear Lake. I mean, it is what it is, just kind of goes to show again. I've got a lot to learn. I've got, I got to put a lot more time on this body of water specifically this time of year. Yeah, I'm going to keep this short and sweet. There's not much of a recap. Uh, you know, try to stay positive here and say, oh, you know, I didn't catch anything. Still had a good time. It was a good time. It was cool hanging out with Dutch and Juan, but oof. I've had better days. I'll leave it at that. But as you guys know, every fishing trip, good, bad, ugly, really, really ugly, as in today, is posted showing you guys the reality of fishing. And I'm sure just like most of you out there, you definitely have your days like this. So keeping it real, another video. First official skunk from the kayak of 2023. I guess it's good we got it out of the way. Two skunks for that matter. But as always, I thank you guys for watching, for coming along on these adventures. And I'll see you guys in hopefully a better fishing day in the next video. So we'll see you then.